What are the top three new features with SOLIDWORKS Composer 2016? Well, for those of you at home, feel free to follow along. We're using the car seat example from the out-of-the-box samples. Now, getting into Composer, one of the first things you may notice is that when you double-click on a view to activate it, SOLIDWORKS Composer now calls this your active view, and it is denoted by this bold blue box surrounding that view. This is very helpful when you're working with multiple views inside Composer. Which one did you most recently activate? Well, Composer remembers this. Not only does it remember it, but it knows the visibility of the actors inside that view. So, if I need to temporarily hide some of the actors, I can easily get them back by right-clicking and going to the Visibility drop list and choosing Restore Active View Visibility. I could also go to the Home tab, go to the Visibility drop list here, and choose that Restore Active View Visibility as well. Very easy to restore and get back on track. Now the third feature is with animations. So let's get into animation mode and activate our timeline. Right away you can see we have multiple tracks now for location, properties, and viewport. And sure enough, properties goes in deeper for opacity, materials, and events. So for instance, if I wanted to change the camera field of view throughout the animation, it would capture in our viewport. Same thing if I was switching cameras around, changing background color, etc. We now have individual tracks to keep track of this. So not only can I easily see and understand what's coming up, for instance the visibility of a callout, but I can select individual tracks or multiple tracks to move them, delete them, much easier control now with Composer 2016. So if you have any questions on the animation enhancements, animations with the visibility of actors, and also our active view, let us know if you have any questions, and have a great day.